foot. Class, open your left foot. Open your left foot. Your feet should be just about a little bit wider than your shoulders. Your feet are straight ahead. We push our knees out to the side. If you look, it looks like I'm riding an imaginary horse. That's why they call it a horse stance. Okay, now we put our left fist forward and right claw locked on top. Okay, this is the meditation stance. Now, what do we do when we meditate? Well, for you beginners, we want to concentrate. So I want you to close your eyes and you bow your head slightly and I want you to say to yourself quietly, I'm here to learn karate and I'm going to pay attention. Okay, focus all your concentration on this. You're really here to learn. Okay, close your eyes. I'm here to learn karate, and I'm going to pay attention. Okay, let's just concentrate. All right, open your eyes. Now, when we close our horse stance, we bring our left foot, the left foot moves only. Watch now, everybody watch. And we bring our hands up. As I bring my left foot up, I stand up straight. Okay, all together with me, ready? close. Good. Now, the next segment is called Stance. The first thing we're going to learn is the stance. Because just like in life, you have to learn to stand before you can walk and walk before you can run. And the stance gives you everything. Everything you do is going to be done in that stance. That's what makes it so important. It's probably the most important single thing that you're going to learn in the entire art, and that is the stance. And you've got to learn it right. You've got to learn it well. All right, now, kids, this is what it looks like. All you have to be able to do is to imitate me doing this, and you've got the stance completely. Now, as far as the parents are concerned, I'll explain some of the things that you should be looking for so that you can correct your children as they're trying to learn this stance. But kids, this is it. It's called the neutral bow. It's also called your fighting stance. It's also called the freestyle stance. Now my opponent, of course, is coming from this direction. That's why I'm facing this way. This would be a left neutral bow because my left foot is forward. If my right foot were forward, it becomes a right neutral bow. Right, now parents, I want you to observe the bottom part of the stance, the feet and the positioning of the feet. You'll notice that there is a line that runs from you. In this particular case, you would be my opponent. So, my opponent's straight out here. There's a line that runs straight between my toe to my heel. The feet are not now, lined um, up. If the feet get lined up, your weight is out here, starts pulling you off balance. I, you I'll, I'll show you my feet to show you I'm doing the stance, right? That's perfect. That's again. If it's a little, a little wider, think of this space is about this bunch you know, between the feet, that's okay. If it starts getting like this, that's not acceptable because it starts opening you up to attack. It puts too much of your, too many of your targets available to your opponent. All right, now, I'll show you an easy way to learn the neutral ball. Start by bringing your feet in together to form a T. Now, All right, well, slide sorry, the camera this won't straight back. stand still. And when you bring um, it on the ball of the foot, and that's when you I'll show you basically how you do it. Um, you're bringing your feet together, and then you step back like this. You put your other foot forward, and then you bring your hand up like this. And this is called the neutral bow in Kimpo. And you put your hands up. Now to switch back and forth, you bring your foot up like this and then switch and step back like that like this and that's how you do a neutral butt you can hit your hand you hit yourself and it hurts almost as bad as somebody else hitting you so this hand is out here not straight not in just out about here all right now parent it's about a 45 degree angle but you got two 45 degree angles to think about. One is how far out, and the other is how far All right, over. Well, this is also a 45 degree angle. Feeling a little bit of rain. These would be 90. So I might have to right? stop. Mm -hmm. right. This is 45. Yeah, and do it tomorrow. So as long as, long as you have um, but anyway, 45 degree angles here. One this yeah, way, that's right. and see the there's other out uh, this way. Water on the, the front computer. Right, now the rear hand but anyway, um, right here. this is cocked for a punch. You're getting ready to shoot this hand in a punch. 
this is just to show you a basic uh, video to learn karate with from a home study course. Um, now, I might try to take it inside if I can make some room, but we'll see. Now, um, when you start any workout, you want to um, start out slowly. You ain't got to rush anything. Um, Now, there's a testing portion of the video, which um, I'll just show you the basic lessons, and I won't do the testing portion until I send it off for them uh, to uh, give me my yellow belt. Mm -hmm. And I will let you know if I get the yellow belt or not, too. Mm -hmm. But right now... Um, it's 6.48. I'll start a little after 6. And, um, that's not bad for a first, uh, lesson for anyone. And, uh, just, uh, you know, what you gotta do is you gotta keep at it and don't give up. Mm -hmm. Alright, for right now I'm gonna stop the video. But I'll do it tomorrow. And I'll also do the shooter route tomorrow. I'm going to sort of combine them because basically your stances are similar in most martial arts um, and um, they're not that much different. Um, you might have a different type stance in Shaolin, Kung Fu or stuff like that. Um, also Tai Chi which I got videos on Tai Chi and what I'm going to do is start teaching you how to do martial arts from home and um and how to work out from home with martial arts so anyway y'all have a great day talk to you later bye bye